There we go. And we're back at the beginning again. Yep, it's meant to be. I've still got a bad feeling that I really should have been checking on that pulse just in case. But... Whatever. Sorry. I just felt like I had to get out of there. You know how you can't really touch an open flame if you want to for some reason? Like your body just won't let you? It was like that. Everything just kind of burns. Do you understand what I mean? It's painful, yeah. Well, thanks. When I was over there staring down at the front door in all its menacing grandeur, I thought, wow, I really didn't think this through. Not a single part of it. I came here because I felt like I had to. Not only did I not do anything, but there was nothing to do. But all this running around, trying to save the kids, even the whole bit about challenging the League. It was just reacting to my circumstances one after another. No clear path, just running in circles. Even that's so easier than st staying back there though. And at some point I realised if I keep going, I'd have to fight Aya too. The Blight Bag, right? The funny thing is, I still have that bag for my time, albeit brief. Several of them, in fact. I doubt, I doubt they're valid in any technicality, but... Who would know, right? You know, you've already beat her and earned your badge. So, hypothetically speaking, if I fight you now, and if I win, that kinda counts, right? Kane, go and fight your sister. This was not a good matchup. Wow. Say, so, not knowing the story as you do, I can't make that assessment. But from where I'm standing now, generally facing Face things head out and running rather than running away is kind of a philosophy, but maybe it's not the right philosophy. Wow, that's a cool mark. Nope, that's not good. Ow. Okay, oh god, and I've got Kiki instead of anything useful! Change my team. My team now. God damn it! Thank you, Kiki. I shall get Grand Kiki. And I don't think Morris is gonna do. Hmm. 
spell effects. Switch. One second whilst I lock up a low end mark, make sure I've got something right for it. Poison dark. Ground. Okay. Good job, Kiki. Good job, Skunk Tank. Yep, keep thrashing, buddy. Won't help you much. Oh, it might help you this time. God, I really threw eight, eight through all my uh, the heels I got from the pickup crew. <laughs> really was worth my time. God, that was a quick snap out. There we go. Good job, TM. Meow stick. I'll change for now, not cause, just because I'm not sure what it is, so I guess that's going to tank out. You know, I can't help but feel a little bit nervous here. <laughs> Meow? I mean, you're, you're beautiful, but I don't know what you are. Pure psychic. Ah. Oh god. <laughs> well, let's make this easy. Thank you. 
There we go. That's okay. This is probably a bad idea anyway. You think? Sorry. That was out of line. But you're so cute when you're invading my avoidance issues. Enabling my avoidance issues. <laughs> we should probably go. Now that all the fire's been put out, we gotta figure out how to get to those kids. I'll just go to the realm net and see if I can figure anything out. Maybe let's not talk about this little excursion ever again. I think I'd appreciate that. Until later. So it's, he can call out his issues, but he doesn't, he doesn't do anything to address them is the bigger problem. Neon? You! What do you want? Hi. Look, I know you have every reason to hate me, but hear me out. Hmm! Hang on, let me get this- Let me get the drink! And you can explain why I shouldn't fucking get my TM to t kick your ass. Cause you don't know it's fainted. Please believe me, me that I never meant for this to happen. Kiki never would have- I didn't go to Apophil to infiltrate it for Team Meteor. I really did want to change. And I did. I think. It feels like every time I finally get something- I finally got on track, something else happens to kick me off of it. Team Meteor found out where I was, so they gave me orders to set up the pulse. You all and Kiki tried so hard to stop it. But I'd sabotaged the machine in the first place. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. I liked that place. So I secretly broke the pulse when I installed it. Ripped the entire cooling system. Kiki didn't have to die. The Medicham... Yeah, the... You can apologize all you want for Kiki, you still killed the Medicham. It's not what you think. But I'm so sorry that it happened this way. Do you believe me? I want to believe the best in you, Cal. I appreciate your mercy. It's almost more than I deserve. It fucking is. And I don't expect anyone from Apophil will listen to me. Especially not Victoria. And there's one more thing. You stole it. I... I had to steal that in order to hold the machinery up there. I regretted it immediately. Even more when I found out. Team Meteor is holding Shelly. Yeah, you could have just said. I mean, I was the. I told you that she was being held. You could have just come up with it right there. We could have done something, dude. I want to charge in there, break her out, and tear him a new one. But I won't. I have to find a way to be better than my fears and impulses. So I'm going to make myself scarce. They'll be after me too, now that they know I've betrayed them. I'm counting on you to save her in my place. I know it's my fault that half this has happened. More like three quarters. But please help make it right. Maybe we'll meet again someday. Then don't. <laughs> Just leave it as it is. I'll work out Cal when I get to him. And if it means me tearing him a new one, then so be it. But for now, I will let this... I won't let it go. But I will take... Give him the chance to make it right. Alright, uh... I guess I'll give it to this Graveler, seeing there's no there's nothing else it's gonna be doing, so I might as well No wait, this my uh my rock smash strength servant. I'll leave it for now. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna go save the kids. Or at least I'm gonna get ready to save the kids. <laughs> There's probably the better option here. 
Because with strength, I can now clear clear out part of the way. You got in! Thank goodness! I didn't want to think about how long the kids have been left hanging. They better be safe or we're going to have to drag that court fool down to misery. This way is locked, so... Only one way to go. Better hope that's where they are. That's handy. Great bolt. And a dragon jet. Ooh, handy. Nothing else? Cool. Equally handy, even though I've got quite a few. Please. Linkstone. Wait, this is. You're a you corporate. This is the old Yoyu building that was destroyed in the earthquakes. Haha, <laughs> it's kind of creepy, huh? Could they really be in here? Hey, Neon, I'm gonna follow your lead here. Never really done this whole team up thing before, so. So be gentle, Senpai, it's my first time. <laughs> really? I should expect nothing less from you at this point, Kane. I really shouldn't. So that girl with the lapis is gone, right? Seems like now's our chance. Now's your chance! Again, it's always the machines! I love that thing, it looks like it's in a onesie. Ow! TM! Quilladin. Yeah. Oh no, we can't escape. Whatever shall we do? No, don't learn recover. Don't learn self-destruct. We don't want self-destructive behavior here. Oh no, I can't escape. Hilda and Ricardo, even with that girl gone. Surprised to see us here. It's just adorable how everything actually thinks everyone actually thinks earthquakes destroyed Yuri. You. Kenneth and Brenner. Two. Thank me later, Kane. Oh. 
Again, I need to get an ember. They're just so cool! Look at them! And Samurai. That's, they're all really cool! Yeah, you target the Nido King because the, the TM pretty much counters everything. Oh, Embo. Embo's fire fighting, that makes sense. TM. That's only hurting you. There we go, Samurott is down. Ooh. Oh, we're not done. I thought we'd be done by now. Not that it really matters, Minio is about to disintegrate. Didn't even have a chance for its shields to go down, that's bad. Do whatever, do whatever you want, it won't make a difference. Yes, Earthquakes did it, not us, no! You guys are so cute when you're misguided. We had Yuryu under our thumb for quite some time anyway. Time to go kill someone! Shelly! Now don't take another step closer or we'll cut her throat. Neon. Cocaine. Just keep moving and pretend we didn't see anything. Got it? I'm scared. They say you won't. They said you won't. You wouldn't hurt her. Not if you don't interfere. Hey now. It's okay. Just go on. It doesn't matter what happens to me. Find the others, okay? Ugh. I'm sorry, Shelly. We'll be back for you, I promise. Boy, how I'd love to just got you right now. Oh, hang on. Nope. Hello, Charlotte. Charlotte! It's about time you showed up, Princess. We came as soon as we could. Not in the usual way. Back away or we kill her. Really, guys? You still on that? Well, uh, you know... It's what the boss said to say, so... Serious, right? Whatever, just forget for now. Come on, meet my friends! This is Neon, and this is Princess! Neon, Princess, means... Meet Simon and Tara. We've met. Yeah, Neon beat us before. I'm still mad about that. To be fair, didn't you kind of start it? Wait, 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 Charlotte! What do you mean, friends? With Team Meteor? They're people too. They just happen to be on a different side than you. And you? Details. It beats being tied up, anyhow. It's not like we can just let you go because of a casual conversation. Right. Well, the hard way it is, then. Well then, do you guys want to do the honours? The hard way is my specialty. I mean... Considering I can't help Shelly at the moment, I'll happily clobber something to death. <laughs> Yes, I also got the reference. Or the insinuation, I should say. Damn. Can you stop learning moves that would kill you? I actually want you to live. That's not gonna hurt the Muzdale because it takes on electricity. It doesn't affect Mudsdale. Yep, there goes the Nido King. Could you stop aiming for the Whirlipede? I needed to take that down.
Fair enough. Tim's not really handy here. Hmm. There's not much else for it, so I guess we'll do a rock slide for now. That would have been really handy if you killed it, Tim. But that's fine. You did good, Tim. You did good. Uh, we'll go, Hypno. And go for the Zen Headbutt. just can't take a hit. Well, that's Makago's turn. Would have been really good if you didn't kill it. This Mustail's been a bastard. There we go. Oh yeah, love him affects everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stealth walk's kind of handy. Oh yes, yeah, sandstorm. Again! Fine! Good thing I got something new on the job. There, you're dead anyway. Bye, my work. Good job, Kiki. I knew she would invite trouble. Would you stop that? No! Charlotte, tell your friends stop being strong. Why don't you just stop being bad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quit Team Meteor. Join the good guys. I cannot. Why? When our work is done, we will have a new life. Not just for our sake, but for the sake of everyone. Team Meteor is going to rebuild the world. By making... Helping make it happen, we'll earn a place at the top later. And this world? Erased. Vanished. Gone. But we will live on. The world is not what matters, it's people do. Ends justify the means. Exactly! Well, that's cool, I guess. Anyway, I'm going. Bye. And it's not like you can stop me, so don't even try. Hold on, she was on the floor below. Didn't you rescue her? We couldn't even get close to her, otherwise... Aha. Uh -huh. Don't come any closer or we'll cut her throat. Charlotte? Do it then. What? Kill her. See if I care. She's Charlotte. She's not my family or anything. I'm just flipping the switch to get upstairs. We really will. What you do to her doesn't affect me at all, so do whatever you want. Hey, be careful. <laughs> ah! Neon, now! Trixie! Dangerous is all fuck, but Trixie. You again. I'm not even going for the risk. You take on the gold bat.
I mean, she, she's a brave character, no doubt, but... Eh. That's not going to hurt the Gigalith. Oh, that actually did more than I thought. That's good. Dynamic punch. Good try. But 50-50 coin flips, not always the best. Can I stop being coiled up in my, my wires, please? Thank you. <laughs> what is with TM's accuracy? It, it just seems to have nosedived. There we go. Um, did that really just happen? Yes, yes it did. Shut up, shut up. I, I thought you really did, did want me dead. Of course not. You helped me escape from the orphanage. You have my respect for that. But you can make someone, someone lose control by making them believe they already don't have any. I don't want you hurt, Shelly. Now let's go. Heather and the twins are further up. Right, let's carry on. I'm feeling in a mood to finish this part. Nothing. Good. Hey, you alright? They've got the others in cages. That's so mean. Even, even I just had guards. How can they think treating anyone like that is okay? Even criminals don't deserve this. So you keep them locked up here like we're in a zoo? Classy. What kind of corporate building has cells like this in it anyway? This hasn't been a corporate building for a long time. Surely you've heard how years ago Yuriu was the centerpiece of Reborn's economy. Yeah, yeah, the economy was booming and then it was stricken by earthquakes and it was over. Wrong. Earthquakes didn't destroy Yuriu. Team Meteor did. We infiltrated the company over time and shut them down from the inside out. And it was the closure of Yoru's power plant that led to the city's downfall. So then Demetia was successful in destroying Reborn City the first time. Bingo, kiddo. We were set to do it again by destroying Julia's game, the new power plant. But someone got in the way. And here you are again. Sounds like a nice time for revenge, yeah? Yeah, with your stupid frickin' coats. Ringo. And that's one. God, that scream. Ah, oh, that's two. <laughs> yeah. But they've they've switched the Pokemon because Ringo doesn't have uh, Soul Rock anymore. He's got the Moon instead. There goes the Lunatone. I'm surprised you didn't go for the past moon.
Okay. One day you'll see. Even if you beat us, you won't stop us. Do as you please. It won't make a difference. They took Anna upstairs. Heather too. The doctor is there and some and the other weird guy. Uh-huh. Well, I'm sure it's nothing Neon and our princess can't handle. You're really sticking with that name, huh? <laughs> you earn it. They also took something from Anna. It's an amethyst pendant. It's very important to her. It was a gift from our real father. When we were left at the orphanage, all we had was Nomos Nostra in that pendant. Why'd Meteor want something like that? Ah, oh, whatever. I'll work on getting this cage open. You two go on ahead. Call me if you need a match. Okay. Heather! So you've come again. I confess, it was fortunate that Sirius of this Team Meteor came to me with the proposal that he did. He had the means to capture my fugitive, and for payment he needed only to extract from this girl a single object. A ruby ring. If it's just the ring you want, then what are you even doing keeping her up here? I ask myself the same. Treatment has not been called for, if that is your concern. At Sirius' behest, I was to detain and question her. But this is demonstratedly fruitless given that she has become withdrawn to the point of silence. And whose fault was that? Thank you, Kate. After what you did to her, she might be able to speak at all. Loss of speak is not among the effects of electroconvulsive therapy. Trust me to know my trade. She's most certainly not lost her ability to speak. Only her will. And yet you appear to have constructed a certain image of me in your mind already. You intend to fight me regardless of what I say. Go on, then. Do I fight, or do I not? Because I'll tear his heart out right here, right now. <sighs> Fine. Just as well. Then I won't stop you from proceeding onwards. I may have invested myself in this Team Meteor, but I have no regard for their malevolent actions. Yet I am bound to their service for a different reason entirely. Strictly a matter of my personal curiosity. There's a name I've heard, thro heard thrown about. I hear thrown about amongst their officers. It's a name I used to know, but it cannot possibly be. Ahem. Pardon, I was speaking too much. This time only, I will turn away. When you flee, I will not stop this girl from joining you. This is hardly a therapeutic environment, anyway. Come on, Heather. Neon! Kane! Hey, we finally made it! Did no one teach you to knock before entering? This is my private office. I would appreciate due courtesy. Did the doctor falter already? I heard no commotion downstairs. He didn't even try. See now, old man. He was the one who wanted to detain the children. I thought we might have a useful partnership. But he drivels on and on about stress response this and traumatic event that. At least he was good for his employees. That and... It's strange, isn't it? We needed only ensnare Ruby, and we caught Amethyst too. Give me back my pendant! It's, it's the only thing I have left of my father. Your father? Ah. I suppose I can see the resemblance. You knew my dad? He was a fool. The unrefined, short-sighted type. The type that history tries too hard to forget. Don't say things like that! Ah, but it's so true. The gems are ever so precious pendant he gave you. They were not always the brilliant polished crystal, you know. Stones must be cut to be shaped. People are the same. Sometimes the stone breaks if you make the wrong cut. And your father, the miserable, treacherous lad that he was, well, he was very broken indeed. Hey, buddy, I think you should stop talking and give the girl back her stuff. Her stuff. It was ours before she was ever born. This amethyst pendant and the ruby ring both. You don't have so much as an inkling of their true worth. I will not relinquish such items for mere sentimentality. Then we'll just have to make you. Let's go, Neon.
One, that is a cool ass meteor. Two, that's a cool ass Trent Torrenton. Three, rock slide. <laughs> Hold on to you. There goes Meteor. There goes Nida King. Nope. Ah, it still worked. Here. Oh no, you're going after Mock for some reason. Hits. Tim! Actually, no, wrong Pokemon. There's Mock. I don't think Kiki's gonna do Mock here, so I guess I'll switch to Makago. Sorry, meow stick. Marina. Hopefully Samson will stop him. Ah! Bye, my work. Makago, hang on! There we go, Chandler down. I don't know how I lived that, but I'm just going to carry on regardless. Ah, crap, I'm on my own. How did I live because of the sandstorm? Oh! Fair enough. Kiki did good! Kiki, hang on! Tough as nails. <sighs> Kiki! Strength. Insolent. You have no clue what you're fighting for or against. No, but I know what I'm doing is protecting people, so... Enough. This conflict is pointless and is infuriating. Do not presume to be in control of the situation after such a trifling victory. After all... Ow! Need I say more? Kane? Hey, hey, no! Nobody wants this to happen, right? We can work this out, right? 
I wonder. Wait, I know. Look, you lost the shipment, right? I picked this up. It was supposed to freak you. Uh, this green crystal thing? You have the emerald brooch. And I thought that old zealot's daughter still had it. It seems this is true. This truly is history in the making. The brooch for her life, then. Sure, whatever, yeah. Give it here, boy, and no sudden movements. Kane, you are really playing into the, what they wanted. Go. Um, hey, Nostra says we need to leave here right away. Don't have to tell me twice. Let's skedaddle. To have three at the four already. How marvellous. No, hold on. Something is not right here. The luster is not quite... This isn't the brooch. Have I been tripped? No, this isn't a crystal at all. It would not cut like this. But I have seen this before, this... No, this is... Vertinite. What was that explosion? No idea, just keep running. Anna, are you okay? I'm fine, There's nothing's wrong. I don't know if that was Kane being a smart ass or just that was the wrong brogue, but I don't care. He did awesome. Heather, keep up! We're almost out of here. We gotta go back. This door is locked. Then we just have to hope this key unlocks it. Easy. Where did you get that? Pickpocket a meteor. We're still going to my sister's play in Crystolia. I don't have anywhere else to go, so... Now that I'm on the run, I guess. Hey, we should go qu quickly, okay? Nostra isn't feeling very good. No, you mean you aren't. You look pale. No, no. It's definitely Nostra. She says she's dizzy and tired and... yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, then let's hurry. The railnet exit should be Shire Strait East. Try not to get lost. 